Greetings, Card Fighter Project fans. Kiddo here. Hey, uh, it's been quite a while. Actually, if we look at this, it's been almost a year since I've done an update. We released the Legends expansion, but I still have not uh, released the rules yet. I do apologize for that. Uh, the Legends expansion, it really took a lot out of me, and it kind of uh, set me into a little bit of burnout when it comes to card fighters. I haven't even played uh, the card fighters game on the Neo Geo Pocket um, for a very long time because of that. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to be able to get some things done for you guys. Um, I started in on another project, and that's kind of also what sidetracked me a little bit here. Uh, but uh, we're going to get into this because about six months ago, one of the users asked me if I could help him uh, get this uh, or explain to him how to get this printed. And I told him that I'll, I'll go ahead and do up a video um, as it's needing an update. Superior POD, they're a great uh, print on demand service. About two years ago, though, they updated their website um, on how to how to print files and that sort of thing, uh, which is you know, it's it's made some issues because obviously my old tutorial no longer is valid. So um, we're going to go ahead and do another one here. And if you live in the United States, Superior POD, great service to use for printing cards. Um, but if you live outside of the U.S., um, you know, there's still a great service. But obviously it is going to cost you a little bit more for shipping. So um, I don't know if you want to look into see if you have any POD services print on demand. Um, in your area, or at least closer to you, um, so it will cost you less for shipping. Uh, but uh, they definitely have a great product, and I cannot, uh, I cannot recommend them enough. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come here to GIMP.org, which is G-I-M-P.org. You're going to want to download the software. It's an image manipulation software. Um, for the PC, for Linux, uh, for Apple, uh, basically go to here, click on the download, and you wanna, you're gonna want to uh, scroll down a little bit, and you're gonna find GIMP for Windows, of course. So if that's the one that you're you're needing, otherwise you're gonna have to uh, look it up and try to find some of the other different versions and that that kind of thing. But uh, this will get you the the PC version of it, anyways. You're going to want to either download GIMP directly or to uh, via BitTorrent. Of course, I'm going to say uh, we're going to download it directly here. It's always the easiest. Um, and then save that file. I'm not going to save it because I already have that installed, of course. So I'm going to cancel out of that. Um, but go ahead and save that. Install the software like you normally do. And then you're going to want to go over to the Card, Proge Card Fighters Project website and click on the tutorial page. Now, this page... Again, hasn't been updated in a long time. I am going to be doing that. So right now, this is the way it looks currently, but um, maybe after you watch this video, it's not going to look like this. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to want to come in here. You're going to want to find the section that says template. Don't download this one. If the page looks exactly like this, don't download this one. I'll put some links down in the description uh, for now for you guys who are going to jump on this right away. Um, and down, download the links from the description in this video instead for now. But anyways, under here, uh, using Superior POD, there's going to be a spot for you to download the template. You're going to download that template, and it should look like this. Very simple. Now, this template is actually uh, the template that uh, Superior POD came up with. It's got some information for you, um, just explaining what all the colors and things are for. Don't even worry about that. Everything that I have is pretty much set up anyways. Um, go ahead and come over here. And we're going to click on this button, which will create a new layer. And we're just going to go ahead and say, OK, I mean, right now my layer name is box. So that's that's what it's going to come up as right here. The next thing we need to do is we need to come and get the bucket tool. So we're going to get the fill to the bucket tool, the fill tool. And then we want to go ahead and select a color. Um, you can click on the color right here and then you can you know, pick whatever color it is that you're looking for. Um, and then we're going to fill that. So as you can see, since I was on this top layer, it filled everything black. This bottom layer down here, I'm just going to delete that out of there for now because we really don't need that at the moment. The next step that we need to do is we need to, of course, have our cards downloaded. So whatever cards it is that you're trying to trying to get, um, if you want the base cards, you know, you can go into base cards, select Capcom. 
and then you select your language. Uh, in this case, if you want to, you know, download each card individually, you can go through and select just specific cards, or you can go up here and you can click on uh, the flag of what uh, region you would like to download the cards. You click on that, and it's going to download, as you see here, Cap E for English, 1 through 40. So that's going to be all the cards on this page right here. So you can download them in, in one swoop. Uh, the next time you can click on uh, cards 41 through 80, and then you can click on this. Again, you're going to download a zip file with all those cards. So get the cards that you're looking for that you're wanting to build your deck with. Now, if you're building just a standard deck, you're going to want to have uh, 50 cards. Well, technically, you're going to want to have 54. I'll explain um, that a little bit later on. But you're going to want to have your 50 cards. Now, with the Legends expansion, you actually are going to want to have 60 cards. So it's going to it's going to be a little bit different than what uh, than what you're normally used to with the new rules. Uh, but again, that that will come hopefully not too long from now. I'll try to get get that stuff hammered out. Um, but I'm going to go through. Um, I want to print all of my Legends expansion cards because I haven't even done that yet. Excuse me, I just got done eating. <clears throat> Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and download the cards that you want. And, of course, I already have them downloaded. So I'm going to go back over into GIMP here. And then I'm going to go into my Legends section. I'm going to grab all of the cards that I want to have printed. Um, and we're going to go back to GIMP here real quick. And the cards that I'm wanting to add, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, after I've highlighted all the cards that I'm wanting to print, um, again, we have to modify these cards so that they'll work with superior PODs uh, standards now um, since they've updated. We're going to grab those. We're going to drag them up here into the Layers dialog box, and we're going to release that. It's going to go ahead and pop all of those cards into place. Uh, this is going to take a moment. I'll be right back with you as soon as it finishes. Okay, so now all the cards have been added in the layers here. You see this black box is still down here at the bottom. If I click on that eye, it'll actually turn that specific layer off. Um, and now you can kind of see the border that goes around it. That's Again, that is our bleed. They need that so that there's going to be no white around the edges or whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, in our case, it, it, they want it, we want to make sure that that black goes all the way to the edge. So when they cut it, it looks just like as you see it right here. It'll look really nice and crisp. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn that back on. We need to make sure we have that layer turned on. Don't worry about these guys. They're not going to hurt anything. They're not actually going to show up on your image. Um, you can toggle them on and off by holding Control, Shift, and pressing the T button just like this. Um, I'm just going to leave them on because I'm used to having them on anyways. But we're going to scroll up to the top. And as you can see here, the first card that I'm wanting to uh, to create or to modify here is A065. So I have that selected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Control, Shift, and press E. That's going to go ahead and pop up this dialog box for me right now. So I'm going to type in that layer that I have right here. I'm going to type it in A065. 65.png. So make sure you delete anything after that. This is what I'm going to name the file as. But first, I need to, I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to name that folder print me. Hit enter. Now, this is saving um, on my hard drive right there on the desktop in a folder called print me. And again, the file is a065.png. We're going to click on export. Another screen will pop up. We're going to click on export once again. It's going to save that file right where I wanted it. Great. So we have our first card. We're going to do a couple more just so you can see and get the hang of this. We're going to go ahead and come down here now. This little X that's down here, it says delete this layer. I'm going to click on that, and then it's going to allow us to go to the next one. So again, we have to hold down the control, shift, press E, and we're looking at the file name A066, and over here, where it's highlighted already, I'm going to type in A066, so then I'm going to save that file. We're going to hit Enter, Enter again, and it'll save it. Wonderful. We're going to click on Delete, and then we can move on to the next one. Control-Shift-E. We're going to go into typing right away. It's A067. Hit Enter. Hit Enter and it saves it. Now I'm going to do a few more just to show you how quick this can actually go. So 
Um, control shift E, A068, enter, enter, delete. We're gonna do that process again, A069. A070. A071. And always wait for that dialog to pop up before you hit enter. Um, so anyways, uh, you're going to want to go through, do that with all of the cards that you're wanting to print. Um, and uh, then we'll, we'll come back in just a moment here. Okay, now, if you are printing the Legends cards, uh, specifically the Arena cards that we have, I'm going to show you just a little shortcut that'll make this process a little bit easier for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to go back to our template. We're going to go over to Image, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. That's going to turn your, your uh, palette here over to the side. Not palette, but your... your uh, canvas sideways and then we're going to go ahead we're going to pop in we're going to grab all the arena cards that we're wanting to print we're going to just like we did before we're going to highlight those then we're going to end up dragging it and popping it over here and it's going to load all of those and again i'll be back with you as soon as these finish okay so uh, now we have all of those cards as you can see that have been added to the list or should in in your uh, layers palettes here. Um, so what you're going to want to do, you want to go back up here to image again, go to transform. This time we're going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. That's going to pop it so it goes back to the normal aspect ratio. Um, and then, of course, we have arena at the top. We don't want arena at the bottom because we want everything to match uh, everybody else's cards, you know, in case you do play with some friends who have also printed these. Um, so make sure that arena is at the top here. So now we're going to go through that process as we did before. Control Shift E, and we're going to name this V021, and we're going to save that one. And then we're going to click delete. Control Shift E again, V020, hit enter. Again, we just went through this process, so you get the idea. We're going to go ahead and go through all the cards that we want and uh, get those files renamed using this template. Um, and again, in just a moment, we're going to go ahead and do some quick editing here, and uh, I'll show you the next step. One moment. All right, so now that we have all of our cards printed up the way we want them, uh, or not printed up, excuse me, we have them in our folder uh, the way we want them. Um, all of our cards from our Action, Reaction, Capcom, SNK, Arena, whatever it is that you are wanting to print. What we want to do is we want to grab all of those. We're going to highlight them all. You can either click and drag as you normally do, or you can con hit Control A, again, depending on what operating system you're using. But you want to select all of those cards. And we're going to take those cards, and we're going to, on our, uh, our template here, just as before, we have a blank template, except for that black layer on the bottom. As a matter of fact, you know what? We don't even need that black layer. Let's go ahead and delete that. Um, let, let me pull this back up. So we don't we have a blank canvas now completely blank. We're going to put take our cards and we're going to throw them on here. So give it just a moment and I'll be with you as soon as this finishes. All right, now we have all the cards added into our our file here. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to pop over to the website again and uh, click on tutorial again in here you'll be able to download the common backs. Um, the common backs, uh, they will be listed here, and I'll, I'll actually list it like um, common back old style uh, with bleed, and com common back new style with bleed. Um, that way uh, I'll, I'll have those versions, and then I'll also have the, the versions where it's already cropped. Depending on who it is you get it th printed through, you might need both files, but in your case here, go ahead and download either the, uh, just make sure it has the bleed listed there. Because what this is going to do is I'll have 
the newer style back and the older style back for those who are still printing using the older style back with Card Fighters Project rather than Card Fighters Special. Uh, so go ahead, download the one that you want. And what we're going to do, let me kill this. Go back to our cards that we're going to have printed. Um, and I'm going to, actually, we don't even need to do that. What we need to do is we need to grab the back that we're going to do, and we want to have that in in our file as well, or in our layers palette. Uh, just make sure that it's at the very bottom, like this one is here, uh, because if it's not at the bottom, it's not going to uh, do everything properly the way Superior POD needs. So stick that card bottom, uh, our card back at the bottom. Uh, the next thing that we do, we now have all of our cards that we're wanting Superior POD to print. And as you can see, they're all right there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and once again, hold Control Shift and press E. And we're going to, for me anyways, I'm going to name this Legends. Whoop, let's take caps off. Legends. Come on, dude. Legends. Uh, set. Um, and the .png, we want to get that out of there. So delete that out of there. And we're going to actually call this legendsset.pdf. And then I'm going to export that. And we'll get a new screen that'll pop up. More than likely, these two boxes will not be checked for you. So what you're going to want to do, is, this is layers as pages. So every single one of these layers is going to be treated as a new page. We want that. So we're going to click on that. The other thing is, of course, again, at the very bottom, what do we have? We've got our card back. So because our card back is there, we want to also click on this reverse page order. So what that does is it changes this right over here. So now it reads layers as pages, top layer first. That's exactly how we want it. So we're going to go ahead and export that. It's going to take a few seconds here. And it looks like I'm saving that to the desktop. I wasn't expecting that. So let's let's go ahead and go to desktop, legends. OK, so there's our PDF. I'm going to go ahead and open that and just review it to make sure it's correct. So again, we have our action cards up on top. The next cards that will appear, of course, are our Capcom. Uh, then we're going to have our reaction cards, our SNK cards. And then my last ones that I put in there are my arena cards. So everything is in place the way it should be. And the last thing we need to verify is right there. Again, the card back needs to be the very last card. Every single one of these cards is going to have this on the back. So you don't want to have all in at the bottom. Otherwise, you've done something wrong and you're not going to be happy with the product. So we're set. We're good. Okay, and the last thing that we're going to need to do here is we need to go to superiorpod.com. Um, now, I'm already signed in. Um, I'm going to try to do as little as possible so it doesn't reveal like my address and things like that. If it does, I guess I'll, I'll blur it out or whatever. So don't, don't be surprised if you see that. Um, but what we're going to do here is we need to hover over products, custom card decks, Go over here to card decks and gaming cards. And the last selection is poker size custom card decks. We click on that. Now, uh, depending on what size uh, or how many cards you're having in your deck, this is where we're going to have some options. Um, I always go down to that first. So the size of deck. So if you are printing just a standard deck, which is 50 cards, you're going to want to select the one that says 54. And the reason for that is because these go in uh, multiples of 18. That's how they print them when they cut them. So you, they, they, of course, can do decks in multiples of 18. So you will have to either add a couple extra cards or not worry about having some blank spots um, on, your, on your decks. Uh, but for anyways, for, for this for this occasion, let's say that you want 50 cards printed. So you're going to want to select 54. Um, in my case, I'm actually printing 111. Well, it's actually 114 cards um, because I have multiples of uh, the, the holographics and then I have the fake holographics or full, faux holographic cards. 
Um, so I'm going to have to actually select 126 cards. Uh, I can go in there if I wanted to, and I can add a few more cards. That's fine, and I probably will before I actually place my order. Um, but anyways, uh, select however many cards, as close as you can get, um, without being under. So if you have 100 cards, uh, you do the 108. Uh, if you have 110 cards, of course, you don't want the 108. You're going to have to jump up to the 126 and probably want to, again, add a few more cards. Otherwise, you're just kind of wasting money. Um, so in my case, yet again, I'm going to select 126. Now, let's say I want to get three sets of these 126 cards that I just set up. That's fine. I can go up here. I can change this number to three. That way I can get three of them and then the price will change and that sort of thing. But I'm not going to do that right now. So let me just go back to one. For additional shrink wrap, just go ahead and say, no, you really don't need that. Um, Let's see, turnaround time. Uh, if you're really wanting them wanting them to rush and get it out to you quicker, you can pay additional uh, and see how it jumps up there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that under standard processing. It's going to take a few weeks. It, it does take some time, obviously, depending on how busy they are. Um, but I'm going to leave that as standard. Uh, card stock, we have many options here, as you can see. The original cards that they were printing was a 12-point um, with a semi-gloss finish. Those are those are pretty nice cards. Uh, what I've been doing recently, though, is I've been going with the 14 points. So that's what I'm going to go with. But as you can see here, there's also the premium linen, um, which is a matte, uncoated finish. And then there's a premium black core casino 11 points. So it's not as thick, but um, these, are, these are a very nice card. But I'm still going to go back to this premium because that's what my other cards that I currently have printed um, more recently anyways in that. So I'm going to select that one. The last thing here is the, uh, is it new art? So if you're new to a uh, superior POD and this is the first time you're printing this, you do have to pay them an extra $5. Um, unless of course you get, uh, you know, nine sets of them printed up, uh, then they'll waive that fee. Uh, but I'm only going to be printing three. I'm not going to be printing nine of them myself um, when I do come back and do this. So you will have to select that. Now, if you come back and you print the same deck later on, they don't charge you because it's already set up. But go ahead and select the $5 fee. Yeah, I know it kind of sucks, but uh, it's something that they've added recently. Um, but th they're still, again, well worth it. We're going to now click on Browse. And we have to go to wherever it was that we had saved. And in my case, the legend set right here on my desktop. It's going to go ahead and add that. And then, of course, your ship to. Now, yours may not have anything listed in the ship to yet um, because, again, I've done this. I've set this up ahead of time. Um, you may have some boxes here asking you uh, what's the address that you want to ship it to and that sort of thing. It's not that hard to figure out. We're actually at the home stretch here anyways. I'm sure you guys can figure out how to add your address and that sort of thing to it. Um, estimated shipping time. You can, you can enter this information in if you want. You don't have to, um, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now because I'm not worried about uh, how long it's going to take me to ship it. So you can skip over that if you want. I'm going to name my job Legends 114 Not Full Deck. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because it's not the full deck. I don't want to accidentally, you know, reprint this down the road again or anything. And then you can also give them any additional instructions. Usually that just stays blank, but we're going to go ahead and click on Add to Cart. So what this is now doing is it's taking that file, it is uploading it to their server uh, and onto your account. Um, so what you can do is just let that upload. And as soon as it's finished, of course, on this video, we'll come back to it. So I'll see you again in just a moment. All right. Well, now, as you can see, it is finished. It went ahead and switched me to this new page here. Um, now, again, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, just go through finish filling out all the forms and things that they need you to. And uh, you're going to click on proceed to checkout. Now, it's possible that uh, my screen is going to look a little bit different from yours, again, because I've used their service before. I'm already logged in, um, but this is not difficult to, uh, to figure out. Um, just go ahead and fill everything out. Now, down here where it says payment method, mail by check, I've never done that. I don't see any reason to. I always go down here to pay by credit card or by PayPal. You're, <clears throat> you're going to click on that, and then you're going to click on PayPal if that's the method that you choose to go. 
um, and it'll bring you into PayPal and then you can pay by credit card or you can log in, pay by your uh, bank account or whatever the case may be. Um, and then, of course, you're going to want to uh, after after that, you'll have another button that should appear um, that allows you to to finish the order out. But from here, I think you guys could probably handle it. Um, so that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope this tutorial has helped you a little bit. And um, I think it should be able to uh, to get you where you need to go. The hardest part was getting those files set up. And after you know how to do it, it's really not difficult. Um, and it really won't take you very long either. Uh, but uh, it's, it's just a matter of getting it figured out. But uh, again, guys, uh, I, I'm hoping to get those rules finished up. Um, well, I haven't finished. I just I need to get it um, actually set up in the system. I've, I even started uh, laying it out in a book format um, quite a while ago and, until I started to, to lose my fire on it. Um, but I hope to be able to get that finished so that you guys can at least start playing with the expansion yourself. Um, I, I, I don't want to say anything that or make any promises that I'm not able to keep. Um, so I'm not going to say as to, to when I'm exactly going to do that, but I do hope to do it um, so that way this doesn't have to go on into um, infinity here. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyways, I hope you guys have fun playing the game. I know I have in the past. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone around me now that I can actually play the game with, which is kind of sad. I know I've mentioned that before, uh, but uh, e eventually I may may find someone who who's interested, but I hope you guys have someone that you can play the game with and maybe even spread the word on it um, and uh, get other people interested in playing uh, one of my favorite card games that's ever been created. Uh, but until next time, guys, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.